Hey, I'm Brent. You're watching Steam Culture. Happy Friday and welcome or welcome back if you're one of our longtime viewers. Appreciate you guys. You know, after World War II, a lot of economies were struggling. Uh, lack of resources and things like that, including Russia. Gasoline being one of the major resources that they were short of. So, the smart people in Russia said, you know what? What we do have a lot of resources of are coal and wood. So they went about making a steam-powered truck to move things around so they could rebuild their country. And it is called the Russian NAMI-012 Comrade Moving Vehicle. It's not a Comrade Moving Vehicle, I added that part because it sounded so good. But it was 14 and a half tons, had about a six ton payload, and they would put the boiler in a little cab space behind the cab where the three, uh, was room for three people to sit in there and drive and operate. Interesting invention though. Coal did not work, that was the initial fuel, so they went to wood, and they have a lot of wood, you know, if you've ever seen Siberia, it's all trees, and it worked, and they built a self-feeder so they didn't have to have a fireman, looked great on paper, started running this thing, and then realized in practicality, not such a good thing, you can matter, had to keep filling it with water, had to keep stopping, uh, didn't produce necessarily enough, either horsepower or speed, because the information's a little sketchy on it. So we find this with steam-powered vehicles. There's always one thing and a lot of it's got to do with storage and fuel and water and stuff like that. And you know we did an episode where a spaceship will land uh, on a planet somewhere and extract moisture from the surface and turn that water into steam and use the steam uh, for propulsion in space. And I thought well if they can extract water from material. I have this dehumidifier at home that I'm emptying all the time. Maybe we'll just use some kind of technology similar to that to extract moisture out of the air, but then your dehumidifier would probably be the size of a freight train. And that just seems to be the problem when I do this research on steam vehicles. It's always something. You're just trading off and pushing problems elsewhere. One day, somebody is going to invent. Maybe Elon Musk can get on that. The batteries are cool, but build a steam-powered vehicle for us, okay? So thanks for watching Steam Culture. Hey, you know what I would like for you to do before you go out and Google steam-powered vehicles? Go out and Google us. There's content for you each and every week. I would like you to do three things. Like our stuff, share our stuff, subscribe to our YouTube channel, because we got something for you. So thanks for joining me. Come see me here next Friday. Have a good weekend.